Hello guys and welcome to part one of making this chess scene in Blender. So I'm going to be going through it step by step and we won't be making every um, single chess piece. We'll be making a few of them but I'm going to show you the technique using the screw modifier and we're going to make this very simple board and then in part two we're going to do the easiest tutorial when it comes to materials because we're just going to be downloading our shaders and our HCRIs, our lighting and everything from Polyhaven, which is completely free. I'm going to show you how to import that into Blender. So what we're going to have is this really nice looking um, scene here and we're going to have that nice soft um, focus of the camera. I'm going to show you how to set it all up. So let's jump in. And as always, this blend file will be on my Patreon. You can check that out in the description below. And you can also join Skillshare for free for one month using my link in the description. I have a lot of cool character courses on there as well. So check it out, all in the description. Let's have some fun. So reference is one of the key things when it comes to making anything that you want to replicate. So in this case, we want to replicate a chessboard. So what you could do is you can go to Google and you could just type in chess set. I've gone to a site called Pexels. And the only reason I'm using this to show you guys here is because this is CC0. So there's no copyright issues here for me to show you guys this. Um, so I'm not going to show you any particular um, image to download, but just go to a site like pexels.com and then have a look at something like chess. I've typed in chess and the first piece we're going to be making is the pawn. So I'm just going to get a pawn here. So pawn looks roughly like this. I'm just going to put it on my other monitor and we're going to jump into Blender. So you guys can just follow along here. Okay, I'm just going to be using the reference. Recommend you educate yourself on that as well. So we're going to go shift A. We're just going to add in a circle. I'm going to tab into edit mode and we're going to go to a top orthographic view. And we're just going to delete all of the verts except for the one here on the very um, left of us. So your very left, this one you're going to leave here. And you can see we have the little origin point here in the middle, which is what we want. We're then going to go into our front orthographic view. We're going to press E to extrude and Z and just extrude that vertex up. So now we have just this little bit here. Okay, we're going to tab out into object mode. And then we're going to go to our modifiers and we're going to give this a screw modifier. And now you can see it's wrapping all the way around, which is what we want. So this is going to be our um, first pawn. And what we're going to do, we're going to come here to the viewport steps and we're going to increase this to 32. And this gives us a better resolution and let's set the render to 32 as well, or maybe even 64. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to tab into edit mode. And now all we have to do is grab this single vertex here at the top and we can simply now work our way around. So I'm going to actually grab this and go G, X and move it in a little bit so it's not as big. And I'm going to grab this vertex, bring it down a bit and I'm going to go E to extrude. I'm going to extrude it in a little bit and you can see here I'm looking at this reference. So we're going to extrude in that little bit, make this bit and work our way up. So let's follow that pattern here. So I'm going to go E to extrude up a little bit like so. And then let's extrude out by pressing E again. And let's go up a little bit like this. And then let's do a big extrusion inwards like so. Extrude up a little bit, then extrude in. And I'm going to go like so, extruding a few times. Then I'm going to go E to extrude and extrude up and taking it to about here. Now you can see I've made it a bit too skinny. So I can just grab these guys and just bring them out a bit. And that's a wonderful thing about using this method. And then let's grab this top vertex. Let's go E to extrude, extrude out a bit. E to extrude up and let's just make this little uh, detail at the top as you can see here it's that little part we're making here like a triangular bit and what we're going to do is once we get here to the top we're just going to go E to extrude and let's just make kind of like this round looking ball at the top doesn't have to be perfect just working our way to the top till it kind of comes to the middle and here towards the very end we can just go E and extrude it in like so and there we have our pawn now to save us a bit of time to not have to do all of this again um, with the making the bits, what we're going to do, we're going to actually go into object mode, select this whole thing, go shift D to duplicate an X and move it over to the side. Now we can just turn this one into another thing and all of this is already set up for us. So let's go with the next piece. Um, let's find, um, let's look for something like the castle maybe. Um, so I'm going to scroll down. Okay, here you can see we have a nice example of the castle. Let's go for that. So I'm going to put it over to the side. Inside of edit mode, I'm going to try and maybe just delete these top verts, bring it down to the bottom here, and maybe just make it a little bit different towards the bottom here like this. And I'm going to go E to extrude and just extrude in a little bit, and maybe come up to about here. And let's extrude in to make a little divot. And then we're going to extrude up like this. And let's make it a bit taller than the pawn here. 
Then we're gonna go E to extrude out, up, out again, and then up. And maybe let's take it to about here. And I think that's looking pretty good. I might extrude it in a little bit and then extrude it in again, extrude it down, down again, and then in. And you can see here, it should kind of be touching in the middle. So I'm gonna bring it in along the X till it touches. And now we have that. I'm gonna tab back out. At this point, I'm gonna select a pawn and I'm gonna go ahead and give that a subdivision surface modifier. And I'm gonna give that a subdivision surface modifier. And I'm gonna select the castle. I'm gonna do the same thing, give that a subdivision surface. And if it needs any more points, you can just come in here and select any of these two. So for example, here, the subdivision is a bit weird. So I'm gonna select them, right click and go subdivide. And I'm just gonna go and subdivide that twice. Then I can grab these new verts and just bring them down a bit. And that's a cool way of just tightening that up a little bit. So now that's looking a lot better. I might just do the same thing with these two over here, just subdivide them and bring that up. Subdivide again, just bring that down. Okay, that's looking a lot better. But as you can see with this one here, we have these little grooves running through like this. So let's just fix that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna add in a cube. We're just gonna go G and move it to the top here and then go S to scale. And then S, X, scale it along the X. We're just making um, a little cutout object. So I'm gonna maybe scale it up on the Z, maybe flatten it a little bit, just something like that. Maybe move it up a bit. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go Shift, um, actually, let's just tab into edit mode. I'm going to go shift D R Z and then go nine zero. So I've duplicated it and rotated it 90 degrees on the Z. Now I'm going to tab back out. I'm going to select the um, castle here. Let's get our modifiers. Let's give this a Boolean. Click on the eyedropper and then select on that cutter object. Now if we select this cutter object and we go H to hide it, you can see this is what we have. But at the moment, we can't see these bits in here. So let's just try some different methods. So I'm gonna go and change just to fast. And that seems to have fixed the problem so far, okay? Um, we can always work with the shading and stuff later. Um, I mean, the topology here to try and fix the shading issues, but this gives us a very quick and easy castle, as you can see. So now let's look at the next thing we can make. And we're not gonna be making every um, piece here. Uh, we'll just make some of the few uh, classic ones. So here we can see we have a queen. So let's try and make the queen, that's simple enough to make. So our pawn, we're gonna grab that, we're gonna go shift the X, move it over, and let's tab into edit mode and let's make our queen. So our queen is gonna be a bit bigger. So we're gonna select all these verts and move them over to the side a bit on the X. And let's grab these top bits and go X and just delete those edges. And then we're gonna continue up from here where the pawn ends and we're gonna start making the queen. So we're gonna extrude this top vertex up a little bit to make her taller. And then we're gonna go E to extrude and we're gonna go a few times and just kind of make this sort of lip that comes out. And then you're gonna extrude up and then you're gonna extrude in again, like so. Come to about here and then extrude up, extrude up again and in a little bit, and then continue and then extrude up a little bit and extrude up again. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start kind of going out a little bit like so. And if you have to just grab these, bring them out even more so you guys kind of get the idea here. I'm basing it off this reference here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go E to extrude in a bit, in a bit, in a bit, then go down. And then let's just extrude in. And then let's start extruding up like so and just make kind of like this little decorative ball at the top. Like so, bring it all to a point. Tab back out and now we have our queen. Very, very simple. And let's see what else we can make. Um, let's close this, let's go down. Okay, maybe we'll go for something like a bishop. You can see here we have a bishop, so that's very simple. We could probably take our pawn again, shift D to duplicate, bring it over to the side, and let's tab in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top ones, delete those um, edges. Let's bring this out a little bit, like so, these guys. And just like the queen, let's make this kind of little lip that goes out like this. So I'm gonna go out, extruding, extruding, bringing it around, bringing it back in, bringing it back up by extruding. And then we're gonna extrude up to make a little bit of a neck. And then we're gonna extrude out. We're gonna kind of make kind of like this kind of tulip shape or teardrop shape and extrude all the way up like so. And then towards the end, we're just gonna make a little drop 
a little ball like this, bringing it together to a point. And now we have that. So let's tab back out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift D, Shift A and add in a cube. G, bring it over S to scale it down and then flatten it on the X. Scale it up a bit, maybe make it a bit wider. Just like that. We're gonna rotate it, bring it in here. And let's now grab this and let's give that a Boolean. Click on the eyedropper and then select that cutting object. Select it and then press H to hide it. And once again, just select this and make the method fast as well. Now you can see that's what we have looking pretty good. So we now have these ones here. I might just go Alt H to hide that object and just go S double X just to flatten it a bit. And then I'm gonna hide it again. I think that looks a bit better. And I think we should make one more. Let's just um, have a look here and go through it. I think the king might be something we can make. So let's make the king. You can see here is an example of the king. So let's try and make that. We'll kind of use our queen. So let's select our queen here. I'll just go Shift D X, move it over. And what we're gonna do differently here is we're gonna just delete these top bits. And then from here, we're gonna do things a little bit different. We're gonna move this up. And then from here, we're gonna make an extra detail like so. Extruding, extruding. And then let's extrude up like so. And then let's make another little neck that comes around like so. And then let's extrude out and then make kind of like this flange coming out and then start extruding, making it kind of round here like so. Extruding in and then extruding up a little bit and back in and up a little bit and back like so. And then what we're gonna do, because this doesn't really look like the king right now, is we're just gonna tab back out. We're gonna go Shift A, let's just add in a cube. G, let's just move it here to the tip. Doesn't have to be perfect because no chest piece is. Maybe scale it down a bit. And let's tab into edit mode and extrude this up on the Z. Extrude it up again. And then grab this bit here and then go E to extrude. Grab this bit here, extrude it out. And then select everything by pressing A and then go Control B to bevel and roll your middle mouse button to add in some segments. Tab back out, right click and go shade smooth. And now we can take this holding and shift select the king and then go control P and then go object, keep transform. And now we have that sorted out. So now we have these pieces here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly make a chess board. So we're gonna go shift A, add in a plane. And let's just go S5, scale up five times and then press enter. Then we're gonna tab into edit mode. And with everything selected, we're gonna right click and go subdivide. And then we're gonna come here to the number of cuts and let's make it, so you should see a little tab down here. And let's go up. So I'm gonna keep going up, let's go five, six. And we want this to be eight by eight. So you can count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's just go up one more time. So seven um, cuts here is what we need. So we've got seven cuts across and seven cuts across like that. And that's gonna give us an eight by eight chessboard. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to our materials tab quickly and go new. Let's just call this um, wood light. And uh, let's go to, just for now, to the viewport. Let's just make it um, kind of like a light wood color. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our face select. Let's just go plus and create a new material. Let's just call this material wood dark. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a dark kind of color. And what we're gonna do is with all of this still active, we're gonna go and press F3 and we're gonna go checker. And we're gonna go checker deselect. There's actually a thing already built into Blender for this. And then let's go to that wood dark and then go assign. And now at least we can just kind of get an idea of where we're at. So in the next part, when we start adding some wood materials here, this will already be in place. And we can just switch out these materials for our nice wood material and make it look cool. So um, what I'm gonna do is tab back out and I'll see you guys in part two.